All right, back for another beer review. And today I'll be reviewing yet another beer from Heart State Brewing. And they are out of Gehanna, Ohio. And this is their Double German Chocolate Cake Sweet. So they're calling this one Imperial Milk Stout brewed with a walnut, coconut, cacao nibs, and vanilla. Comes in 11.5% alcohol by volume. No IBUs listed in time of review. I believe, I believe this can is approximately four months old, and that's because this was sent to me by a very good friend of mine and fellow beer tuber, Jay, over at This Guy's Thoughts. So huge thanks to him for this beer. In the description box, I'll post a link to Jay's channel along with the beer mail boxing video I did that contains all the goodies he hooked me up with. And the reason why I say I believe this is approximately four months old is because when Jay sent the box, he said the three stouts he included, they were all... Um, brewed and packaged sometime in February. I'm drinking this one in late June. So we're going to say approximately four months old, give or take a couple weeks. So uh, yeah, anyway, Jay sent me two different variants um, of this series, I guess, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, he sent me double walnut sweet, which I already reviewed, and it was a drain pour. The reason it was drain pour is because it was the Sweetest beer that I've had this year and probably in quite a while. Uh, the flavors were nice. The drinkability, though, no. I drank like three or four ounces on camera, and then I poured the rest down the drain because it was just too sweet. That, that was a beer that I'd like to share with like, you know, a half dozen people. At the very least, like three or four other people. Um, so I'm kind of worried about this one. I love German chocolate cake, like one of my favorite desserts. But can this be even sweeter than that one? I hope not. Like, I hope not. Uh, Jay said in the um, comment section of that one, he's like, I think this one won't be sweeter. I'm like, Jay, please don't tell me that. So we'll see. I'm going to give it a fair shot, you know, just because that one was basically undrinkable from a sweet. The thing was, the flavors were really nice. It was just so fucking sweet that, you know, I give all beers a fair shot. And this one just exploded everywhere. So, okay. All right, we're back. And uh, <sighs> strike one against this beer because it exploded. Uh, I lost about a third of the can based on what I'm feeling. And luckily I was able to uh, contain it to my tabletop and it didn't go on the floor. That would have sucked. Uh, but yeah, so this beer already exploded. That can't be a good sign. Typically something like that, usually a sign of an, an infection of some sort. Hopefully not. Again, it's been in my fridge uh, the entire time since uh, Jay sent it my way. So I don't know. Probably uh, one of the adjuncts started uh, re-fermenting, I would imagine, or maybe some of the malt. I don't know. All I know is um, strike one. I'm going to pour it now. Uh, hopefully it's okay and not still crazy carbonated. Yeah, so you can hear it fizzing away, but it's not like it was. I'm going to pour it all in. All right, so I think this, this glass holds 18 ounces. No, not 18 ounces, what I'm talking about. I think it's 16. So there's probably, yeah, I probably lost two or three ounces. So maybe not as much as I initially stated, but yeah, anyway. So you can see all the adjuncts on the side. There's like little chunks and whatnot. There's a little rim of, I imagine it's from the coconut more so than anything, maybe the, the cacao nibs. But uh, that this pours out this really like deep, murky, like brown color on camera. It might look pitch black. In person, it looks like a very deep, like caramel. Like just, <laughs> just like, I don't know. It doesn't look great. Uh, the head dissipated to nothing. Um, yeah, so 0 for 2 in terms of the looks and the beer exploding. Nose. Well, it doesn't smell infected. It doesn't smell like there's like any sourness or off uh, flavors in the nose. A little bit of roasted malt. Maybe a touch of a nuttiness. Definitely a decent sweetness, like a chocolate, vanilla kind of sweetness going on. Looks disgusting. Okay, now I'm starting to get a little bit of the coconut touch. It's definitely not giving me German, you know, chocolate cake vibes. Um, it smells like a roasty imperial milk stout, a little bit of uh, chocolate and vanilla in there, slight nuttiness, and that's it. Doesn't smell bad, but I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, cheers, everybody, and thanks, Jay. I do, despite the first beer and this beer, you know, not looking all that great, I still appreciate the chance to try anything from a new brewery I've never had before. Never had Heart State Brewing until, until you sent me any of their stuff my way. So hopefully this is better than the other, but we'll see. Cheers. Oh. Why are they so sweet? Why is this beer so fucking sweet? Listen, 
Someone's gonna come to this video and be like, what the fuck's the dude talking about? It's 11.5% superior and looks down. Why wouldn't it be sweet? I get it. No, I know. I know it's supposed to be sweet. It's not supposed to be this sweet. This is, this is just like pure, like I'm drinking just pure like malt. Like it's, there's no redeeming quality to like the actual, I shouldn't say the taste because the taste isn't bad. It's just the fucking sweetness. This is very akin to the double walnut sweet. I'm going to take another sip because I, I need to try to figure out what's going on. I just, it's so fucking crazy. It's like, it's, it's so sickly sweet, so cloying, so over the top that it's like making me almost want to vomit on camera. Like there's, it almost reminds me of like when I've had too much in the past at like a beer fest or a bottle share and you've been drinking nothing but like barrel aged, um, English barley wines and imperial stouts and you get that feeling that like oh man you know you start getting like sticks to your stomach and you just start feeling the throat that's what I'm feeling after two fucking sips of this beer the body on it for 11 and a half percent I'm gonna take very small baby sips here it's thick it's like higher it's like medium to to full body it for 11.5 I think the other one's a bit thin this is not as thin the mouthfeel definitely carbonation not over the top though despite what's happening it still has a nice, like, kind of slightly creamy sensation from the from the um, the lactose, but the taste to me, I'm not getting German chocolate cake or at all. No German chocolate cake in here. You know, a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of vanilla. Coconut is totally lost. I'd say maybe like a chocolate cake vibe. There's an underlying roasted malt sensation. A um, little bit of like a like a walnut kind of um, dryness. But for the most part, this is just so sickly sweet and over the top. Like, it's just like the other one. But I think the other one actually had a better taste to it. I'm going to do one more sip and then that's it. I'm going to, you know, do the rest of the review, rate it, and just, I can't. And on top of that, this is going to get Mark to fucking explode on me. I'm pissed. Why would you explode? I had to cut the camera. Well, I actually didn't. I just, you know, basically cleaned up, took a couple minutes, and then fucking turned it back on. But, like, it wasn't hard, but it's just, like, it's, it's inconvenient. So like I said, tons of malt, roasted malt, there's chocolate, there's vanilla, a little bit of a kind of dry walnut sensation. And that's like omnipresent. Like this not hitting me in different areas. That's what I'm getting as a whole. But the problem is it's sweet. And then the finish, it's super sweet. There's no dryness. There's no real bitter bitterness at all here. It's just sweet on top of sweet on top of sweet. So if you're somebody who loves just like over the top cloying beers, this is you all day. I may have tolerated this one at some point in the past, maybe, you know, four or five, six years ago. I can't do it anymore. Um, clearly with the explosion, something is slightly off here. I'm not getting any sourness. There's no tartness. There's nothing off from a flavor standpoint. It's just the sweetness is very akin to that double walnut sweet, and uh, I just don't like it. Um, so I can't even pass this one just because when I take everything in consideration, I just can't pass this one. And I was looking forward to this one the most because it is, you know, a, a, supposed to be a German chocolate cake. Um, I really want to try more heart state stuff, but maybe not this series just to see how they are. But uh, this one, I uh, just can't. So um, from Heart State Brewing, they're a double chalk, double uh, German chocolate cake sweet. I'm going to go low. I'm just going to go 2.25 out of 5. That's what I can do. I just, I can't, I cannot. Um, I think Jay said on the other one, he paid like $16 a four pack and it was like a mixed four pack. It was like one of each of the uh, variants. So for four bucks, that's cool. 11.5% to try. But after having two of them and how uh, sickly sweet they are, I would never buy them again. Availability, Heart State, apparently gets distro uh, in some places in Ohio. I've never seen them here in West New York. I think they're a smaller brewery just outside of um, Columbus. Uh, again, they're 0 for 2. That doesn't mean I won't try anything else from them because it is the same series and maybe I just don't enjoy the series. But at the same time, like, it's just not for me. So if you've had this one before or anything from Heart State's uh, Sweet Series, let me know what you think. I just, yeah. I will say this, 11.5%. You can tell it's an Imperial Stout of some sort. But there is no burning on the palate. There is no, like, huge warming in the chest. I mean, a little, little touch of warming in the chest, but nothing big. So... I think the other one was the same way where they hit the alcohol well. But when you take into consideration everything else that happened with this beer, like, I 
can't. So sorry, Jay, that I did not enjoy these two. This was the last uh, beer from the box that Jay sent. Uh, the other beers I enjoyed, though. So, um, yeah, not much more to say about it. Appreciate Jay sending this one my way. Like I said, if you've had this or any within the series from Heart State, post in the comment section. Appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. Hopefully you're drinking something much better than I am. Till the next one. Cheers.